Now, help me welcome to the podium this morning and a, a special speaker who is guaranteed to deliver a memorable talk. My big sister, Safina Bryan. Yeah. Somewhere in Daytona, Ohio, there lived a family that housed five boys and two girls. Of the seven children, two boys were on a path to making one of the biggest impacts in the world. From playing with toy helicopters to creating homemade kites and evolving to repairing bicycles, the two brothers became passionate about flight. And so, they started to experiment. Throughout their time experimenting, building, and designing, the Wright brothers successfully invented what we know today as the airplane. Good morning, Temple family. <laughs> Welcome to another fabulous Youth Sunday. I gather that you are all having a wonderful experience thus far. Yes, indeed. <laughs> As we go through today's encouragement, I want you to keep in mind the story of the Wright brothers and their successes. Each week, we discuss different laws and thoughts that enlighten us, uplift us, help to center us, whether it is here at our weekly Sunday services, during your readings after a long day, or during our, week, our midweek sessions at the temple. And though these enlighten are the first step to achieving your goals, how do we apply it to our everyday lives? How do we apply all that we've learned at our temple's teachings? Well, that brings me to the theme of our encouragement today, bridging the connection. I decided to focus on a law that we all know too well, the power of the mind, and use it as an example as how we bridge the connection between our spiritual teachings and our everyday lives. In other words, how do we apply all that we have learned? The first and most important thing that we are taught in our spiritual teachings is the power of the mind, or as we refer to it, the science of the mind. We know that we can achieve all things once we have conditioned our minds to accept that these achievements are already so, and connect ourselves to the universal mind which contains limitless possibilities. Think about our affirmative prayer. We usually end it somewhat like this, and we give thanks knowing that this is already so, and so it is. We do this to affirm that what we have prayed for has already unfolded and we have started to experience it. And by just accepting that truth, we have already begun the process to achieving what we want and have started to connect with the universal mind. Let us use an example. I see the perfect job opportunity, a vacancy for a position that I'm interested in. Before all, I first acknowledge that this vacancy was opened up just for me, that this job is already mine, otherwise I probably wouldn't apply. Think about it. Every opportunity that presents itself before you or that you take a chance on, you have somewhat conditioned your mind that this is already yours. In essence, it is the power of the mind that moves us and makes us take that first step to achieving our goals. But it is not just the mind that allows us to achieve things, as we cannot just think it and it happens. James 1 verse 23 to 25 reads, and I quote, for, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he looks like. But for the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres being no hearer who forgets, 
but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doings. And what this is basically saying is that you cannot just receive information to achieving your goals and sit on it. You also have to act on it and use your teachings as a manual guiding you through life. Once you have accomplished that, you have bridged the connection between the universal mind and your life experiences. It is important that once our minds are conditioned to achieving the goals we have set, that we make manifest through actions. Let's go back to the example. I imagine I conditioned my mind to accepting the fact that the, goal, that the job post is already mine. I have accepted that this is where I will be in a month or two. But for some strange reason, I did not send in the application. Contradicting, isn't it? <laughs> it is not possible for you to accept that this accomplishment is yours and not take the action to attain in it. This is where you have to bring the two together, the thought and the action. It is not accepting the success, it's not just accepting the success, but it's also doing the successful thing. Remember the story of the Wright brothers. Let us envision for a moment. These brothers observing birds, constructing kites, and knowing in their hearts that humans too can experience flight. And this connected to the limitless universal mind has given them the opportunity to make manifest and become the first successful inventors of the airplane. This certainly could not be possible if the brothers didn't one, acknowledge that it is possible for people to experience flight and know within their hearts and accept the fact that they can prove it, and two, take the necessary steps to start creating the very thing that would allow people to experience flight. I'd like to read a paragraph to you from our very own Dr. Ernest Holmes' book, The Science of Mind, from a chapter entitled, The Process of Successful Living. There is a law of unfoldment in man which says he can advance only by going from where he is to the place where he would like to be. This is not because the law is limited, but because it is law. As man unfolds in his mentality, the law automatic automatically reacts to him. The way to work is to begin right where you are and through consistently applying ourselves to the truth, we gradually increase in wisdom and understanding. For in this way alone will good results be obtained. If day by day we have a greater understanding and a clearer concept, if, do it, if daily we are realizing more of the truth and applying it in our actions, then we are on the right path, and eventually we shall be made free. It is a wonderful experiment and a great adventure to make conscious use of the law, to feel that we can plant an idea in mind and see it gradually take form." End quote. With all these principles and examples that I have expressed to you today, is to help break down in a simple way that the teachings don't just end after our services or our weekly sessions, but it should live on in your day-to-day -day experiences through deliberate action and practice. And with that being said, I ask that you join me in this affirmation. I will read it once, and then we will say it together to start our individual journeys. Today, I affirm that my spiritual teachings will make manifest and unfold in my everyday life through deliberate action and connection to the universal mind. So we'll do it together. Today I affirm, Today I affirm that my spiritual teachings
will make manifest and unfold in my everyday life through deliberate action and connection to the universal mind. And now we repeat it in our hearts, in our whisper. Today, I affirm, Today, I affirm that my spiritual teachings will make manifest And unfold in my everyday life. And unfold in my everyday life. Through deliberate action and connection to the universal mind. Through deliberate action and connection. And so it is. <laughs> so For our family here at the temple, you would have noticed that whenever Reverend John Scott provides an encouragement. He usually ends it with, and I quote, and now for your assignment, if you choose to undertake it. And it is just now that I'm realizing that Reverend John Scott says this not just to provide you with an assignment for the sake of it, but to help us, but to help guide you into not just listening to the, teacher, the teaching, but actioning what was taught. And so I'll leave you with this. Not a task, but food for thought. I want you all to leave here today and reflect on these points. Have I been doing? From all the teachings and discussions and meditations and centering, do I practice every day or does it stop after these sessions? And if this is something that you truly want to achieve, manifesting all that you have learned, accepted, believed, take a moment today to assess what changes you have to make to help you get there. Namaste. Wow. <laughs>